to say a sincere thank you for everybody that came out tonight. Just a nice day. Nice to meet you. As a farmer, it's very exciting that people are interested in where their food comes from. I know I've had questions, you know, on what I personally buy for my family, and I just want some more information, you know, on, you know, the kind of corn we're putting into our bodies. We hear so much about GMOs, right? It, the word itself, it's so scary, it's like genetically modified, so it's really important we do more of education and public awareness. For me, tonight is about two messages. Is number one, corporate America farming you're looking at them, we're the face. It is a family connection. There's real people involved in this with lots of feelings and emotions and that we're concerned about what we're growing and how we're growing it. What you have here is three different types of corn. Uh, the second message is that I want people to leave here tonight to realize that genetically modified is better for our society and better for the world. This is what, what I was growing and trying to feed my family. It's a natural thing. Worms like this corn just like you and I like it. And I don't know about you, but I have no interest whatsoever in eating that myself, much less feeding it to anybody. What's happened on our farm and why we want GMOs is, and you pull an ear of corn. Hmm. I was a survivor of cancer when I was fairly young. And uh, to me, the safety of my family and the food I eat is very important. I was 23, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease and mortality became a pretty realistic thing at a young age. I began to look at ways that we could reduce pesticides, where we could improve the health of our soils. Year in and year out, you'd go pull a bunch of ears of sweet corn and come in the house and they'd be full of worms and fecal material from those worms. And then you begin to question, well, why was the sweet corn in the stores, why doesn't it have worms in it? And the answer to that, as you begin to research it, is, well, it takes insecticides to control the worms. But then GMOs come along, and you plant some of that, and you begin to see that, wow, there's no worms here. The sweet corn on our farm, it's grown without a single pesticide application to it. And so, to me, the reality of cancer caused me to begin to analyze what we were doing with the pesticides and insecticides and led me to where we are today. And there's good science behind this. It's troubling to, to hear someone say that GMOs are bad because they haven't seen the other side of that. I had not thought about GMO in this way. So just seeing the different types of corn, it was just mind-blowing. GMO is not like this big evil thing that everybody kind of thinks it is. And it was just really nice to get to talk to a farmer that actually produces our food. I know for me and my followers, like we're really interested in supporting local and supporting your community. What does that look like in real life? You know, who are the farmers in your area and how can you support them? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Look where your food comes from. You know, if you have questions, ask you know figure it out before you just make a blind decision based on a commercial or a scare article you saw on Facebook on our particular farm we've reduced inputs while increasing yields we're doing a better job taking care of the health of our soil on our tractors if they're guided by GPS or our fertilizer is placed directly beneath where the seed will be placed six months from then and that's what the American consumers telling us they want. They want safer food, they want cheaper food, they want more abundant food, and they want us to be socially responsible. But the GMOs are the centerpiece of this. Like it or hate it, the American farmers chosen to be innovative, to think outside the box and become more productive with less resources.